Today I'm going to show you how to replace the strut or strut mounts on a Toyota Camry. So this is where the rear strut mount is located behind the rear seat. We have the center nut here that has the bushing in it. And I'm going to drive you and watch as this bushing moves up and down and it clunks as they go over bumps. Now the top of the rear strut mount is actually in behind this side bolster here. Now if we make our way down to the bottom here, there is a bolt. And then now once that bolt is removed, I can lift the cushion up and then away. And you can see that this is the tab here that locks it in. And this is where the bolt hole goes through. Then in behind here we have where the strut mounts to the body. And we have three 12 millimeter nuts that hold it on. Now this vehicle uses a McPherson strut in the rear here. We've got two 19 millimeter bolts, one at the top here and one behind the brake caliper that we need to remove. So we're going to need to move the caliper out of the way. We've also got the stabilizer linkage and a brake line to undo. First things first, I'm going to soak down all the bolts. I'm going to first start by removing this 12 millimeter bolt that holds the brake line on. And then you can remove the brake line. Next I'm going to remove the zip tie that holds the ABS line on. Next I'm going to use a 14 millimeter socket to remove this brake caliper bolt at the bottom here. There's also one down below and then I'm going to remove the brake caliper so I've got a 14 millimeter wrench on the back here and I've got a 15 millimeter socket I'm going to blast off the nut for the stabilizer link and now I can remove the stabilizer link from the strut so now I'm going to use a 19 millimeter socket with a 19 millimeter wrench on this side I'm going to blast off this bolt so when power tools fail you you can always use a long breaker bar with a cheater bar on the top and now I can break the top one free now I've supported the bottom of the knuckle with a scissor jack so that I don't stretch my ABS lines when I take out the strut. Now I can bang out the bolts. Now I'm going to free the strut from the knuckle. So now that we're free at the bottom here, it's only held on by the three nuts at the top. Now at the top of the strut mount here, I'm just going to come in with my 12 millimeter wrench and ratchet these guys off. Okay, so just as I'm remaining the last nut for the strut, I'm going to hold on to the strut here. Just remove the strut from the wheel well. This here is the old strut removed from the vehicle. As you can see, we've got the spring here and that's got a preload on it between the strut and the strut mount at the top here. Now I'm gonna be using these manual spring compressors. Now you really have to be careful with them because there's a lot of tension in these springs here. You're also gonna to wanna to position the strut in a direction where it's not facing your jewelry. If you are a man, make sure you wear a cup. And then I'm gonna install these compressors here. Make sure they're roughly 180 degrees apart from each other. So now I'm going to put my socket on there. I'm going to slowly drive up each side to compress the spring. And now I'm going to drive off this 19 millimeter nut at the top here. And that can free my strut spring assembly from the strut itself. And this here is the strut mount. You can see it's got this bellow on it. And then we have this bushing on the inside here. So this here is the old strut mount. As you can see, this is bushing here that's really loose. As you can almost pick it up with a screwdriver. And it looks like the previous owner has actually tried to quiet things down with some silicone. But this is what's really causing all that clunky noise at the back there. And this here is a new mount. It's from Mevotech. As you can see, it's got a nice bushing all the way around. Compared to the old mount, it looks exactly the same. I just gotta make sure that I line up the orientation of the spring at the exact points when I'm putting the strut back together. And this here is the strut. It looks like these struts have been changed with XLG KYB struts. It's a good strut. You can see when I push down on it, it goes down and it actually rebounds fairly quickly. Now if this was blown, it would take a really long time before it retracts. Okay, so now to reassemble the strut assembly, I'm just going to install the spring here. And I'm going to make sure that the spring lines up with the spring seat over here. And that lines up nice and well. And next I'm going to take my new strut mount and install that over here. Now I've made sure that I've lined up the spring here with the spring in the end here where the old one was sitting and it's sitting in the correct orientation. Now I'm going to install that spacer and then install the 19 millimeter nut. So now I'm going to tighten up that 19 millimeter nut. I'm going to make sure that my spring stays straight when I tighten it. Now I'm going to slowly release the tension from the spring. And now I'm going to tighten up the 19 millimeter and that's the completed assembly ready to go back into the vehicle. Okay, right, now I'm going to bring in the assembled strut into the wheel well up at the top first. We're going to line up the bolt holes near the top. Now that I've got the bolt started in the body at the top. I'm just going to reach up and over and tighten up one of the bolts just so that it stays in place. All right, and now I just got to line up the bolt hole between the strut and the knuckle here. And now I'm going to thread in the bottom bolt. I'm just using a scissor jack at the bottom here to help me line up that top hole there. And now I can thread in the top bolt, give it a little encouragement. And now I'm going to replace the two 19 millimeter strut bolts at the bottom here. 
and at the top here. Now I'm going to tighten up these two bolts. And now I'm going to replace the sway bar linkage. Just going to put a little bit of anti-seize on that stabilizer link because those are known to rust away. And then I'm going to replace the 15 millimeter nut. And now I can proceed to replacing the brake rotors. Now I can replace the brake caliper. Now I'm going to replace this little 10 millimeter bolt that holds the brake light on. Next I'm going to replace the wheel over the vehicle. Finally with the vehicle resting on its own weight, I'm just going to use a wrench here and snug up these three 12 millimeter strut top bolts. Finally we're going to have a listen from the rear strut noise area while taking the vehicle for a test drive. And as you can hear there's no more clunks when going over bumps.